It is my distinct pleasure and honor once again as chairman of the committee to welcome a shining light in the Brooklyn community who will offer the welcome address, and that will be Zoe Kutsupakis. Thank you, Father. Honorable Brooklyn Borough President, Mr. Eric Arams. Honorable Manos Kubarakis, Council of Greece. Councilman Mark Traeger. Ilias Sekeridis, President of the Federation of Hellenic Society. Congratulations to today's worthy honorees. They are strong supporters of our community, school, and Hellenism. Throughout the region, they are dynamic individuals and professionals involved in various organizations offering endless hours of love and dedication of what, you do, what they do. Thank you all for coming here today to celebrate the historic event. And I want to thank the very Reverend Eugene Pappas for his leadership and all your hard work. You are a, team, a true team player, Father Eugene. We're very proud of you. Congratulations to all the honorees. I would now like to call forward the Reverend Clergy, Father Ganas, Father Macris, Father Romas, and Father Lardas to come stand next to me, please. As we offer the invocation, may we ask you to rise. Paterimon o indisuranis aias titonomasu el thirty of Asiliasu, genitito thelimasu, os en ron kepidis gis, ton artonomon ton epiusion, dosim in simeron, kiapesimin da falimata imon. Ότι σου έστειν η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του Πατρό και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματο, νυν και ο ή και στου αιώνε των αιώνων. Αμήν. The triumphant hymn of this, of this particular period during Lent is, of course, the Ipermacho. We ask you to join us with the clergy in singing the hymn of the season. Τι Ipermacho. Strati glota niki tiria, os litrothisa, ton dinon evkari stiria, anagrafos ipo. Lisu theo toke, alos echum, sato kratos, apros machiton, ek pandinon me kildinon, lefteroson, inakrazosim. Almighty God, we ask your blessing upon our nation, upon our president, upon our Congress, upon our armed forces here and everywhere, returning to our shores safe and sound. We ask, O oh Lord, you extend that peace and that grace that comes from the roots of our Constitution to all peoples of the earth knowing well and good that these principles were fostered and nurtured and cultivated in the tiny country of Greece. This we ask, O oh Lord, in your most gracious name, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much. You may be seated. <clears throat> it is our distinct pleasure to ask the newly elected and supremely elected borough president of Brooklyn, Eric Adams, to make his commentary now before we begin our program, and likewise to indicate to him how pleased and honored we are with this distinguished invitation to the borough hall. It's not the first of its kind. 
It's been for over 25 years from the time of Howard Golden, our good friend, and of course, Marty Markowitz, equally our good friend in the past, who have celebrated these occasions year after year after year. And we were concerned whether the new borough president would see value and worth in this program. And thanks be to God, he was enlightened, illumined, on Three High Rocks Night, <laughs> that this is the way to go. And so without further ado, we bring forward the Honorable Borough President of Brooklyn, Eric Adams. I just want to thank the very reverend, the very, very, very reverend Eugene Pappas for just being who you are, and I appreciate you. And I know that you like Howard Golden, you love Marty, but you're going to adore me. Absolutely. <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> that's, a, that's an inside joke that we have, right? right. <laughs> so uh, let me do this. I'm going to cut my comments uh, down to a few sentences because a good friend stopped by uh, who is running for Congress, and you know we, we don't do politics in this building, so I'm not going to talk about how great he is as a future congressman. I'm not going to tell you how much I adore what he did as the uh, finance chair. I'm not going to discuss that if you go to the poll, that you should look towards his name and how he'll be great for the borough of Brooklyn. I'm going to leave alone the fact that he'll be great for the Greek community and all the business community. But I just want him to say hello to you, my good friend, uh, Dominic Recky. Dominic, come up and please say hello. Thank you, Borough President Eric Adams. You're, uh, you've been on the job just a few weeks and doing a great job. Uh, to Father Pappas, I've known Father Pappas for many years, and I've worked with him in the Three York Church, and he does a great job. And to everyone here today, it's great that our Borough President is keeping this tradition up. But there's something he left out. There is something that he didn't tell you that no other Borough President did for the Greek community. And that is, he's the first borough president that appointed as one of his top deputies, his general counsel, Andrew Granadas, a Greek American, as his attorney and counsel and advisor. That's how much the Greek community means to Eric Adams and the Greek community is growing, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure to stop by here to say hello and I just want everyone to know that we also have a wonderful deputy borough president Diana Rayner, who served me in the city council. And we also have Mark Traeger here. And we have Acosta from Astoria. Okay, so we have everyone here. But I just want to say congratulations to all the honorees who are being on here today. But there are three of them that I've worked with for many years. And that's Jimmy Kokotos of Tom's Restaurant. Jimmy, you deserve this. The contributions you've made in the Greek community is wonderful. And of course, to Dennis and Steve Videris and his family, to the Videris family. There is never anything you ask them for, it's always yes. Have a great evening, ladies and gentlemen, and let's get the program moving on. Thank you, God bless you all. You made my job easy. And you know, I'm going to see many of you on Sunday when I march in the parade. I'm looking forward to Sunday uh, being there. Uh, and uh, as Dominic mentioned, uh, I just have a great partner here as Borough Hall uh, with my deputy, uh, Diane Arena, who's sitting here uh, next to me. Her, her husband and I were police officers together, and so it's good to see I have a new partner on the beat, and uh, we're excited about the things we're going to do here. So as I stated uh, in my brevity, I want to share this with you and why this community is so important. Um, from the time that I arrived at Borough Hall, uh, my staffs talked about this event. Uh, the energy that you brought here for so many years, uh, to here 25 years, uh, was the length of time, and we will continue. We will continue. Let the children play. The children laughter and the children conversation, that has lubricating value for Borough Hall. So we enjoy letting them play and let them, let them be as loud as they want to be. My mama used to pinch my ear all the time because I was so loud. So I'm going to protect them. So the the goal is, is how do we make this borough uh, continue to evolve? And I heard 
the uh, two national anthems uh, that were sung. And I just reflected for a moment as a child. I spent some time uh, with my aunt because my mother uh, and dad spent, had to go to uh, Alabama where our family was from. And I recall that I learned to love my aunt as I was at her house because how she treated me as her son. And when my parents returned, I didn't stop loving my parents. In fact, I learned that you could have love in two places. And so although America is your adopted home, your heart is still with Greece. You still understand the natural feeling that you have of your mother country, and you could adore two places. And as you listen to the lyrics of the national anthem, no one has really personified the love of America more than this community. Starting small businesses, raising your children to be productive, well-rounded citizens, having an educational system that is about productivity and giving back to this great country. And so we know that your heart is in two places. And when you sing those anthem, it's a signal that you can give your true feelings and emotion to a country that you have now adopted as your home, but you also have your heart with the country you call Greece. I remember leaving the cruise ship some time ago and intentionally leaving and they let, allowing the ship to leave me so I could spend a few extra days in Mykonos and enjoying the blue, clear water of Mykonos, Greece. I, there used to be a song that Tony Bennett said that leaving his heart in San Francisco, I left my heart in Greece, in Mykonos, and I can't wait to get back there to enjoy it. So I thank you. I thank you for making Brooklyn great. I thank you for being part of the number that says 47% of Brooklynites speak a language other than English at home. I thank you for allowing us to celebrate the diversity of this borough, and we're rewarded that this borough is so extremely diverse. And when you enter Borough Hall and allow us to host this event, we become a better place because of that. We understand that it is with this diversity of understanding how you have uplifted this borough and will continue to do so, that this will become the greatest borough, the center of the universe. I don't care what anyone says, Galileo had it wrong. The center of the universe is not Earth, it's Brooklyn. And you're part of making it the center of the universe. Thank you very much. The one word that the borough president expressed that I want to focus on for a moment is when he said, I thank you that you permit us to witness this event. He's thanking us for coming here rather than we thanking him for opening the hospitality of Borough Hall. Mr. Mr. President, that is a very Greek expression. We thank you twice as much. Lest it not be said, and I be remiss in my comments, Mr. President, Marty Markowitz had to learn from us. Howard Golden learned from us. And with good love and loyalty to you, you will also learn from us, starting tonight. This nation that we call the United States of America, founded by names like Adams and Jefferson and Monroe and Washington and so many others, is founded on Greek principles that originated in that little country called Elas, whether it be in the Athenian assembly or whether it be on the Straits of Marathon and Sparta or any place in Greece where we gave the elements of democracy, freedom, liberty, and expression. So much was that in the blood and in the fervor of the Founding Fathers. It is for that reason that our nation's capital is replete with Greek architecture, from the Capitol building to the White House. Greek architecture that was to symbolize the new Athens. And would it had been done, this would have been the new Athens instead of Washington City. Even the language of our country, which was debated at that time, should it be English, the language of their forefathers, which was an oppressive language at the time, that's why they came here, 
Or should we adopt, as most of the founding fathers did speak and read, classical Greek? Unfortunately, there was a traitor in the ranks. And it lost by one vote our good friend Benjamin Franklin. He voted for English. Otherwise, you would have spoken in perfect Greek tonight. <laughs> Let us continue with our program. We have greetings before we continue with the honorees. I would like to call forward first the Consul. On behalf of the Consul General of Greece, Mr. Georgios Iliopoulos, we have the Consul who's with us tonight, Mr. Manos Kouvarakis. Mr. Manos Kouvarakis, please. Before I start my remarks, I would like to inform you that uh, despite his wish, the Consul General of Greece, Mr. Giorgos Iliopoulos, is unable to attend due to previously undertaken commitments. The very Reverend Father Eugene, Honorable Borough President of Brooklyn, distinguished guests and dear friends, on behalf of the Consulate General of Greece, I would like to thank you for marking the anniversary of Greek independence with tonight's event. We are grateful to commemorate with you the most important day of our country, its struggle and victory for freedom. 193 years have passed since the very day the Greeks decided to put an end to the Ottoman occupation and began to do something that could only be described as an illogical venture to fight against the Ottoman army seeking their independence. No one gave them any hope, and rightly so, because this fight was doomed to fail. The Greeks, united in this holy goal, stood side by side, risked everything and sacrificed their lives and families in the name of freedom. Men, women, children, priests, young, and old longed for freedom. Eleftheria e thanatos, freedom or death, was the only demand and nothing less could be accepted. We owe our freedom to these forefathers of ours and you can only be grateful. Since the revolution of 1821, many wars have followed, some to liberate compatriots, other to maintain freedom. But with freedom came great responsibility. Today, Greece is facing another sort of challenge. The financial crisis that has hit Greece since 2009, although cannot be compared to the fight of our ancestors, has tested our endurance, our optimism, and has shaken our society. Many have suffered. Our responsibility in this case is to demand from ourselves to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. Dear friends, I firmly believe that we have the great responsibility of passing on to the next generation the values that were born in Greece and had the privilege to inherit freedom, democracy, and human rights. We must teach our children that everything is possible as long as there is unity, bravery, and faith in God. These are the values that thrived in the United States of America, a country where democracy has flourished and our homogenia adopted as their second patrida. I would like to thank the borough of Brooklyn for this opportunity and honor, and I ask you to keep in your mind what the Greeks fought for, freedom and democracy, eleftheria και δημοκρατία. Ζήτω η 25η Μαρτίου. Ζήτω η Ελλάδα. It gives us equal pleasure now. As the Greek Independence Day parade this year has the theme of remembering the last 40 years of the invasion and the occupation, illegally be it so, of Cyprus 
by the Turkish Republic. The theme and the honor goes to Cyprus this year as we remember that tragedy. It is our honor to call forward the Honorable Vasilios Filippou, Consul General of Cyprus, to offer his commentary. He has not a come here. Okay. Sorry. Missing in action. That's acceptable. May we call forward, just for a greeting, because it's not on our program right now, but Council Member of the City of New York, Mark Traeger, to come forward and offer his greetings on behalf of the Council. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, definitely want to extend my great thanks to the Borough President, who has really uh, made this the people's house. And I, I cannot thank him enough for being so open to all of our wonderful communities throughout Brooklyn, and particularly here tonight, the wonderful Greek community. And I welcome the Deputy Borough President, Reina, and my colleague from the Council, a Greek-American, Kosta Konstantinis, who will be speaking here, here shortly. I'd like to say that I, before I was a city council member, I was a history teacher, and I taught U.S. government, and we throw around the word democracy, and I sound like the, the father in the movie uh, Greek Wedding, but the word democracy comes from the Greek word demos, right? Which means the people, where the people choose. And so absolutely correct that we have the Greeks to thank for a lot of different things. Um, Aristotle, Socrates, people that helped us make sense of this world, teachings that we still teach today to this very day in our school system, philosophers, scientists, engineers, medical advances, we ha engineering, the exploration of the seas, we have the Greeks to thank and to be grateful for. So I am honored to be a member of this wonderful, diverse community called Brooklyn. I'm honored to be a friend to the Greek community. I'm honored and so privileged to have be the recipient of the wonderful contributions that you have given to our neighborhood, to our city, to our state, our country, and the world. This is your day, and I celebrate all of you, and I applaud you. Thank you very much. Having mentioned the name already, may be called forward the first Greek member of the Council, Greeks, Greek on the City Council, Kosta Konstantinidis, if he will come forward and give us his greeting as well. Good evening, everyone. It's great to see you again, Father Eugene. Uh, first, I'll start off with giving uh, thanks and greetings to uh, the great borough president of Brooklyn, Eric Adams. Uh, who has uh, truly opened the People's House of Brooklyn and has made this night so possible and special and celebrating Greek culture uh, as he does uh, such a wonderful job here in Brooklyn. Uh, thank you, Mr. Borough President. And of course, uh, Deputy Borough President Reyna, uh, who was a great council member in her own right and now is Deputy Borough President, has been doing great things. And to all honored guests, uh, my, my fellow colleague in government, uh, Mark Traeger, and all the honored guests, the Consul General of Greece. Uh, I am the first uh, Greek Cypriot elected to the New York City Council. And thank you. And being that first, I understand that I stand on the shoulders of giants. Uh, the Greek people are a proud people. Uh, I understand the, the, the trajectory of what our people have done. I know what our families have done. Uh, I share a story that many of you have in this, in this room. You know, my grandparents left Cyprus uh, when my father was eight years old. They left property, they left their fortunes behind to give their children a better life. And they you know, worked hard, they, they, they put their blood, sweat, and tears in what they did to make sure that their children had a good life, but they never forgot about Greece, or in my case, Cyprus. It was my grandmother's great heartache that, of the invasion of Cyprus. She cried almost every day. And she told me, Costa, we can never go where your father was baptized. I can never show you where your father was baptized. And me being 39 years old, I know I still, I have not seen the dream that my yaya had, seeing a united Cyprus. And I want to see that happen for all of, the, all of the Greek people, to make sure that Cyprus is free and united once more. Uh, and as for everyone to share our Greek heritage this evening, the honorees, these are people that I know that work for their communities, that every single day work hard, 
give back to their neighborhoods, and really in the spirit of true Hellenism, uh, fight for their neighborhoods, fight for what they believe in, and make their communities more diverse, more, uh, more rich, and more uh, exciting. So I thank you for allowing me the honor of speaking this evening, and I am very grateful to be here. Thank you for passing my passport. <laughs> I would be remiss, by the way. I, I was so caught up in the Greek history that I must just mention before uh, I, I give up the microphone, uh, people that I know in my district uh, who also model the, the best of Greece, that, what Greece has to offer. Uh, Stephen uh, and Dennis Verderis uh, from Wonder Wheel from Coney Island, and Jimmy, where's Jimmy? Jimmy, let me tell you something. I will never forget, and we should never forget, that during the, one of the most bi biggest crisis of storms after Hurricane Sandy, these are folks that opened up their doors. They helped hundreds, if not thousands, of people with food and assistance. They are models of our community, and they are the best of what Greece has to offer here in our country. I am, so honored to call, I am so honored to call you our friends, and uh, we love you, and we thank you, and we're forever in debt to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you and now on to the program. The program will go very swiftly because this year we have twice as many candidates as normally. For that reason, the committee very succinctly agreed unanimously that the present tours will present the honorees by reading a short bio. Then the honoree will be asked to come forward to take a photo op with the citation and the borough president, and there will be no speeches from the honorees. Don't we all agree? Yes. Each one of them, each one of them deserves equal time, but we would be here till tomorrow morning. And that has happened in the past, and it won't happen today. So please, don't embarrass yourselves or embarrass the committee. You'll come forward, and you'll stand next to us when we read your bio, and then you'll stand next to the borough president for the photo op. At the end of today's services, we will have a complete photo op with all the honorees and the committee and the borough president. But lest I forget, we do have someone here representing Assemblywoman um, Nicole Maliotakis. Nicholas Chamberis, are you here? He is here somewhere. There you are. Never be in the back of the room when you know you're going to be called. We're taking time. So come forward rapidly and give us your greeting on behalf of Assemblywoman Nicole Maliotakis. Thank you, Father. God bless you. Good evening. Um, as I've been urged to do, I'll keep it brief. Uh, Nicole would love to be here, but every year Albany is in session and there's really no way to get down here. Uh, it's great to see so many people here more than last year, and, and next year we're gonna have to find a bigger, a bigger room. That, there's no other way around it. Uh, just wanna mention, since taking office, Nicole has not forgotten some very important issues important to Greek Americans, like urging the Turkish government to reopen the theological school in Khalki, um, reminding us that there's one Macedonia, we need to respect the rights of the Macedonians, which is located in Greece. And as um, Councilman Kosadnidis mentioned before, there's over 50,000 troops in Cyprus, Turkish occupiers, on stolen property. While it's amazing to celebrate this day, celebrating Greek independence will never be complete until Cyprus is free. And a good first step... <laughs> in, clo in closing, the apologists on the other side say it's a complicated geopolitical issue. It's not that complicated. Let the troops leave, let the rightful owners of the properties return, and then we can talk. Happy Greek Independence Day. Zito Yelada, Zito Ekipro, Zito Ekostipemti Martiu, and everybody at the parade on March 30th. Thank you. Thank you. Our best wishes to Councilwoman Eliotakis. We miss her and wish that she was here too tonight. May I just read <clears throat> how the presentations will begin. Uh, these are the names of the order in which we are having the uh, presentations made tonight. The first uh, names will be Stephen and Dennis Vurderis, followed by Joanna Vasilas, followed by Antonia Bregianos, followed by Stileni Rogakos, Nick Karkas, P. 
Peter Yatrakis, John Vorvolakos, Dimitrios Malas, Tony Grigos, and Jimmy Kokotas. So please know that's the order in which they'll be called forward. I have the distinct pleasure and the honor to open the program tonight <clears throat> by presenting the first duet. And may I ask that at least one of them come forward who is here. Uh, Dennis Vuderis and Stephen Vuderis from The Wonder Wheel. Stand right here, if you will. Saving the image of the Coney Island in 1981, the Wuderas brothers, native sons and residents in Brooklyn, acquired and restored the oldest continuing operating amusement park on the ride called the Wonder Wheel since its initiation in 1920. Both brothers are members and developers of the Coney Island Alliance, where Dennis serves as chairperson, assisted by Steve. The Alliance conducts meetings and community events for the area. Both brothers are active and participants in the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce. Both brothers serve on the Brooklyn Community Board 13, assisting the local neighborhood in, in their needs. Both brothers are community mayors of Coney Island, which offers community access to children with disabilities. 1,100 kids a year have a fun day on the rides and games at the Wonder Wheel Park. Both brothers are active as supporters of the Sea and Salt Mission in Coney Island, which advocates for the homeless and the destitute in Southern Brooklyn. Both brothers are sponsors of the annual fireworks display, the pyrotechnics on Coney Island Beach during June, July, and August and September. Both brothers are active members of the Greek Orthodox community and church. They sponsor the Mermaid Day Parade on Surf Avenue and opening of the Wonder Wheel Park for rides of nostalgia for the Boy Scouts, for altar boys of our Greek Orthodox churches, for the senior citizens, and many of them are here today, who have gone on the Wonder Wheel, <laughs> and the Carousel, and the, uh, the, the Horror House, whatever that, yes. And so we honor both brothers, Stephen and Dennis Vuderis, and of course, the roots from which they come, the Vuderis family. God bless you both. My second honoree, thank you, thank you. I would like to call forward Mrs. Joanna Vasilas to please come forward and stand next to the borough president. <laughs> Joanna Vasilas has raised two daughters, is a widow in our community, and worked for many years in the restaurant industry. She raised two daughters in the Brooklyn school system, both parochial and public, both of them becoming professionals, physician, and lawyer. Presently, she serves as the president of the Parish Council of Three High Rocks Church in Midwood District. She is a member of, and board member of the Civic and Philanthropic, Philanthropic Women's Guild of the Daughters of Penelope Dimitra Chapter of Brooklyn. She serves on the Ladies Philoptikos Board of the National Philanthropic Service the friends of the poor, giving much needed aid to those in the borough, the city, the nation, and the globe. Joanna is a member of the Senior Citizen Club of Three High Rocks Church, where she is active in their programming. She is a member of the Holy Order and is well known for her philanthropic and charitable generosity, both to the schools, parochial and otherwise. Her membership in the Greek Fraternal Society and Avriti Society of Brooklyn extends her participation and her family roots in Sparta, Greece. She was born in Athens, but she is not an Athenian. She is a Spartan woman, and we hail her as such. Our, our next honoree is Antonia Rigas Brayanos. Please come up. Antonia Brayanos is the daughter of Gregory and Eugenia Rigas. Along with her two siblings, George and Angelo, she was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. She attended and graduated high school from Van Pan Hall Academy. She then continued her academic studies at Kingsboro Community College, where she earned her associate's degree in liber liberal arts, following in her father's footsteps, Mr. Gregory Rigas. A successful businessman, she started working with her father at the family business, Hercules Construction Corp. 
As a mentor, he taught her many aspects of the construction and real estate industry. Presently, Adonia is a major real estate developer and manages many multi-residential buildings in Park Slope, Brooklyn. In 1989, Antonia married Paul Brianos and has three beautiful children, Thomas, a graduate of NYU Institute of Technology with a Bachelor's of Science in Electrical Engineering, Gregory, a senior at Boston University, majoring in Business Administration, and Maria, a sophomore at Loyola University, Selinger School of Business Honors Program. In 2004, Antonia, along with her business associate, established Cosmetech Corp, an e-commerce cosmetic company with major clients like Estee Lauder, Christian Dior, Sephora, and Mac. Antonia is an active member of her church community, Kimi Sisiotoku, in Brooklyn, and is currently serving as vice president at the Ladies Who Love Toho Society. She has assisted the community on many philanthropic events, such as the annual Chrysanthemum Luncheon, fundraising for the Archdiocese Philoptochos House of St. Michael's Home of the Aged. She has also been supported by the Archdiocese Byzantine Choir, the Greek School of Plato, and Pan Arcadian Yeros to Moria. Antonia, we are very proud to have you among so distinguished honorees. Well deserved. Congratulations. Our next honoree, Stelin Rogaco Saririo. A dynamic lady. Stelin was born and raised in the community of St. Constantine at Helen Cathedral, which has always been integral to her life. Her life has been intertwined with the St. Constantine community since she was a young girl, when her father served as a board member and as the president of the community. Daughter of Adamandia and Christos Rogakos, Stelin was christened at St. Constantine at Helen Cathedral and attended and graduated from A. Fantis Parochial School. It is there where lifetime friendships and some of her dearest friends and compadres were, le were kind, I'm sorry. After A. Fantis, she continued on to Brooklyn Technical High School and got her BA in economics for Brooklyn College. Upon her graduation, Stalin worked for several years in the shipping industry for Andres Cruises. She briefly moved to Greece shortly after getting married to her husband, Hercules Argyriou, and upon the return to Brooklyn, Stalin once again became involved with A. Fantis Parochial School. Mother of three wonderful sons, George, Christos, and Alexandros, are all proud graduates of A. Fantis. Upon her return to A. Fantis as a mother, Stalin took a leadership role in the PTO of A. Fantis, serving multiple times as its president. A great organizer with vision, Stalin was able to set high goals for the PTO and ensure they were reached every time, whether they were fundraiser events for the school or PTO sponsored scholarship for families in need. Currently, the assistant treasurer of the Philoptochos of St. Constantine and Helen Cathedral, Stalin always the go-to person in an emergency or when something needs to be organized in the community. Never afraid of hard work. Stalin was instrumental in organizing the Centennial Luncheon and the gala for the community last year, 100 years the community and 50 years the school. Since September, Stalin has come full circle and returned to Afandis, where she works in the office. The highlight of her day is interacting with the young students who seem to blossom daily. Stalin cherishes the community of St. Constantine Helen Cathedral and is proud to call it her second family and home. Stalin, I've known you for so many years and I'm so happy and proud for this honor today. Congratulations. <laughs> what can I say about the next honoree? My dear is Nick Carcas. Please come up. <laughs> Nick Carcas was born in the town of Megara, 20 miles east of Athens, Greece. He immigrated to the United States with his family at the age of 12 and lived in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, until the age of 27. Nick attended Duane Junior High School, Fort Hamilton High School, and went on to Brooklyn College and various other specialized schools. 
Nick is married to Mary Ann Kipriadis, and they have two beautiful sons, John and Gregory, who they are here today. His first full-time job was to work for Leviton Manufacturers in the engineering department until the age of 26, where he became one of the youngest executives in 3,000 employee company. Leaving Levittown, Nick joined the family business, Neptune Machines Inc., a full-service mechanical contractor and manufacturer of the machine parts used on all types of equipment. Nick is the president of Neptune Machines, a third-generation business, and is currently his two sons have joined the company. Nick has a strong commitment to community service and has been a member and officer of various organizations for many years and has contributed to many humanitarian organizations. And with Nick, we go back in the 70s when we came in this country. I met him, but we're not going to tell you how old we are. We're still very young. Nick, I'm so proud. I'm so proud to know you for so many years. Good and great times. And congratulations for this honor. Miracles do occur. We're halfway down the honoree list, and it's taken us no more than 12 minutes. Mr. James Tampakis, who will catch the ball to keep it rolling. Good evening, all. I want to congratulate all the honorees again this evening. I'd like to call up Mr. Peter Utrakis. <laughs> Peter has been an active community member in the Brooklyn com community, where he has resided for more than uh, 40 years. He's also been on the board of trustees at St. Constantine and Helen for more than 20 years. His family re relocated to the United States from Greece in 1946 after World War II, where he was the oldest of four children, uh, three boys and a girl. He was 16 years old. He started school here in the U.S. without knowing a word of English. He graduated from Columbia College in 1962, and after graduation served in the United States Army from 1965 to 1970, where he was honorably discharged with the rank of captain. Now we know why he's so pushy all the time with us. <laughs> Peter has enjoyed a successful career in both shipping and real estate, and, and has provided financial support, as well as countless hours of service to his Brooklyn church, and more recently to the Cobble Hill Life Care Center as a member of, the, of its board. Peter and his wife, Catherine, who we've honored in the past, who's a dean at Columbia University, a little side thing there, uh, where they have raised, they, they've lived in Brooklyn, they have raised their four children, Catherine, Anastasia, Maria, and Dimitri, and he's also fortunate where he enjoys his six grandchildren and is a very active grandpa. Peter continues to work out of the Brooklyn office that he has maintained for over 30 years. Congratulations, Peter Axios. We call forward committee member Sandy Vallis. Thank please. you, Father Eugene. At this time, I'd like to call up John Vorolakos. John Vervolakos was born in Brooklyn and raised in Sunset Park and moved to Bay Ridge. John's parents, Steve and Stella, are hardworking, loving parents who sacrificed much to enable John to achieve the American dream. John will forever be grateful for their love and guidance. John attended St. Francis College, received a BA in economics and MBA in accounting from Pace University. He, he is, has worked in the area of finance for over 30 years. For the past 18 years, John has worked in his office in Bay Ridge, where he is a certified financial planner. John has volunteered as a baseball, basketball, soccer coach to many neighborhood organizations over the past 20 years. John has been a member of the Holy Cross Greek Orthodox Church for 40 years and has served the Paris Council for nine years and held numerous executive positions, including Paris Council President. John continues to serve 
various Holy Cross committees, and also works with the youth basketball program. Last, and definitely not least, he is married to his lovely wife, Teresa, and they have two wonderful sons, Stefan and Greg, who are both presently away attending college. It is my pleasure and my honor to have introduced John Vervalakos. John, congratulations and well-deserved. May I call forward committee member Angelo Malas, please. I love the way all these committee members have worn blue and white today, like they're in the spirit. And you certainly are. God bless. I love the tie that we. Where is Sandy? Sandy, where's that tie? I have a shower curtain, the same pattern. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So, do I have extra time now since we're ahead of schedule? I can stay up here for a half hour? You sure? Okay. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to uh, introduce the next honoree, Dimitrios Malas. Please stand up. <laughs> Dimitrios James Malas was born on November 27, 1942, in a small village on the island of Chios, Greece, named Aphrodisia. He grew up in a large family of seven brothers and sisters. He comes from a long line of priests, including his father, grandfather, and great-grandfather. He spent a year as a merchant marine and came to the United States in 1960. He lived close to his father's sister in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, and he immediately became an active member of his community and beloved church, Kimisis Teotoku. Dimitrios has lived in Bay Ridge and Diker Heights since he came to the United States. In 1968, he served his country as a member of the United States Army. He served a tour of duty from January 1967 to December 1968 in Vietnam and fought bravely for his country. He received an honorable discharge from the Army in 1969 with the rank of sergeant. He then had a career as a restaurateur and chef in various New York City restaurants that lasted until he retired in 2010. Upon his return home, he met his future wife, Evgenia Tsukalas. They were married in 1970, and they have two children, Stamatia and Costantinos. Stamatia is married to John Macrinos, and they have four girls, Irene, Andrea, Evgenia, and Ana Maria. Costantinos is married to Maria Kudurudas, and they also have four children, one girl, Evgenia, three boys, Dimitrios, Marco, and Andreas. No TVs in that house. However, James is a member of a new and larger family at Kimisis Teotoku, where he, where he has served on the Board of Trustees for over 30 years. He has been active as a member and board member in many organizations, including being one of the founding members of the Northern Hio Society of Pileneo, the Hian Federation, and Ayomama Society. All of these organizations are made up of fellow immigrants and their families from his hometown of Hios, Greece. He continues to be an active member in the community and in his church to this day. Congratulations, Dimitri. Charles Kapitanakis, will he come forward, please? I have the pleasure of introducing my brother-in-law, Tony Grigos. Hi, Paris. <laughs> Tony was born in the island of Hios. I gather there's a couple Hiotas here today, in 1965. He and his family emigrated to the United States in 1968 and eventually settled in Bay Ridge. His one, wonderful parents, Costa and our beloved Lemonia, established their roots in the community and ensured that the Greek heritage was an integral part of his upbringing, along with Joanna and, and Manoli. He had, Tony attended public schools in the Greek School of Plato, then received a bachelor's degree in computer science from Brooklyn College and a master's degree in business administration from Fordham University. Tony started his career in banking in 89 and held various jobs uh, in management positions within, in the information technology field, first at the Royal Bank of Canada, then at Chase, and then he had an epiphany. He joined the family business and joined my dad at uh, 14 Apollo Real Estate. Working at, in a local business opened many doors and community relationships with local leaders and business owners, and one of those uh, was with the president of Bay Ridge Federal Savings Bank, uh, Federal Credit Union, forgive me, Gene Brody. 
Soon, Tony was invited to Gene, uh, Gene Brody and the Credit Union Supervisory Board, where he served for two years. Today, Tony has the privilege of serving as the Bay Ridge Federal Credit Union as their Executive Vice President. He has direct oversight over the credit union's loan portfolio and all consumer products and services. Within one year's time, he exponentially grew the credit union's loan portfolio by enhancing its loan products process and investor relations. Through the Bay Ridge, uh, Bay Ridge Credit Union, Anthony is doing what he loves most, that is to provide guidance uh, to those to, and to help mem members of the community achieve their financial goals. Tony also has a strong commitment to community service. He's a member of the executive board of the Kimisis del Toco Greek Orthodox Church, the Brooklyn Real Estate Board, Community Board 11, Port Hamilton Citizen Action Committee, and various other local business and social groups. He also serves uh, many youth organizations, coaches baseball with me, and soccer by himself for the 68 Precinct Youth Council, and basketball for the Kimisis Parish. He's married to a for another former honoree, Dr. Maria Grigos, and they have three uh, great boys. Dean, who's here today, Basil and Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Grigos. Mrs. Stella Kokolis. Συνήθως τον τελευταίο κοιμούνται όλοι. Everybody falls asleep and they don't want to hear. But, but Eugene? I know, you did it. I'm the last, but I have to present to you one of the best. All of the honorees were very, very well screened before we selected them, and they all deserve this honor. But my honoree, Jimmy Kokotas, and please come forward is a rising star of the Greek community. You see him all over, if he, in the church, in three hierarchs, in the community, all over, always for good causes. Son of Greek immigrants, Paraskevi and Katina Kokotas, Jimmy was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. He's the third generation owner of Tom's Restaurant at the Prospect Heights and Tom's Coney Island. A strong believer in giving back to the community, as I said before, has worked with various neighborhood organizations and schools in Coney Island and other places to help the local youth and everyone in need. You see him in any public call, if it's a hurricane, if it's a, any destruction. For Sandy, Jimmy was there in Coney Island. For the neighbor, neighborhood, he's always there. As part of the Greek community, he has served three Hyrax churches, assistant treasurer, and as a treasurer. Jimmy is also a member of the Order of Ahepa, which everybody knows is one of the largest an oldest organization, and he has really helped and held offices as governor of New York, uh, regional governor in New Jersey, Delaware, and he's currently the national advisor to the Sons of Pericles. Jimmy has participated in Archbishop Dimitrios' committee for both Greek and Cypriot relief. In June 2011, he held a rally for the rebuilding of St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church at the Ground Zero, everyone knows about. And I really give him congratulations for that and to all of you who work for that cause, and Father Romans as well. He's married to Calliope, his best friend, whose support and love have made many of Jimmy's endeavors possible. So you see that I have to present to you the best.
before we give the Phil Helling Award and some other awards, I would like, to, first of all, to thank all of you for your presence tonight. This has probably been the swiftest program we've ever had, and we'll have time to eat and drink and dance downstairs. But before we... Politician or whatever leaves, you think for the moment if the new one will be as good as the one who left. Ladies and gentlemen, Filimo, I really stand at this microphone and from the bottom of my heart, I tell you the truth, we have gotten voted the best borough president and he's going to really do an excellent job. We knew him from before. He is a public servant. He worked for the police department, the very respectful department, and we're all so hopeful that Eric will be one of the best ever existed in the borough of Brooklyn. So I would like today to call him in our Greek community, thank him for opening this beautiful room, and make, make him, announce him as an honor Greek. <laughs> Thank you, good luck, we're very proud of you. And, and my, my promise is, in eight years, we're gonna have this event in City Hall, okay? <laughs> Behind us, we have a large basket. Just a minute, two minutes, program, two minutes. Is a large basket filled with various wines from the various regions of Greece. We know that Eric likes white wines, and so we did our best to fill it with white Greek wines. But also in there is Greek olive oil, with which he will have his Greek yogurt and all the wonderful Greek treats. This vase that's being given to you, Mr. President, is truly a vase. It is not an urn in which ashes will be placed, but it can be used as an amphora to put your wine and drink it with two hands like this, <laughs> like the ancient Greeks drank it. So we do hope we'll have that picture one day on YouTube. Thank you again. <laughs> now, uh, I'm going to ask the honorees to do thusly. As the honorees come forward, there's another certificate that each of the honorees will get from, these, uh, from the assembly from Nicole Maliotakis. So please be prepared to receive another certificate when you come up front here. I'm so cheese, I've got the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and Daxi. Thank you. Okay, I think that's it. <coughs> oh, signal me. <coughs>